Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. This is going to be a general reading uh, for twin flames and soulmates. Um, what else did I wanted to say? Oh, this topic is about what the Divine Masculine is being honest about today when it comes to the Divine Feminine. Um, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and uh, sharing, subscribing. I'm still getting back to your comments, uh, so please bear with me with that. So when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, if you're new, it's just energy. So you can be either or. So just take the reading as it, you know, how it resonates. Not every reading is going to resonate with everyone. Okay, so since this is a general reading, I do offer uh, personal uh, bookings below. The link to my site, intuitiveenvisions.com, is there as well. And um, also, I've opened up an uh, Instagram account, so if you're interested in that, um, that information is there as well. All right, so I'm going to first get uh, an energy of the subject of what he's being honest about when it comes to the Divine Feminine. So I'm going to use this, the Kipper cards, and I'm going to use the um, Moonology cards. So what's the main subject when it comes to the Divine Feminine that Divine Masculine is being honest about? And you have the coffin. Okay, so this has to do with an ending or a transition. Okay, so let me see what this is about in the bottom here. So this is on his mind, okay? So he could be possibly thinking about um, ending a situation so that he can come forward with the Divine uh, Feminine. This is something that's on his mind quite a lot. Um, is overthinking the situation. So but, um, the Coffin card is about transition, uh, endings, and beginnings ending the old okay so let me see why uh, um, let me get an energy from the moonology card is what I'm trying to say a time for healing um, balsamic moon so he's being honest that he probably needs to end the situation. I mean, end the situation. <laughs> be honest about how he ended the situation. Or honest also could be about maybe there's another situation involved here. But it says it's a time for healing. So this is about transition. So this is on his mind. He's thinking about this. And um, it's, it's heavily on his mind. Okay, that he needs to heal the situation and the only way you can heal something is to be honest about it okay so let's go ahead and i'm just going to see what's on the bottom here believe in the impossible yeah so he is thinking like you know will she uh forgive him that's the energy i'm getting right here you have the blue moon believe in the impossible so He's thinking like, is this possible to heal this situation? Is it possible to heal um, this connection with the Divine Feminine? This is um, on his mind, like I said, very uh, heavily. Uh, we're going into a new moon uh, tomorrow, um, the Harvest Moon. So I'll probably, if I get a chance, do a reading on that one. I have a busy day tomorrow, but um, we'll see. Okay, so this is the angel answers and I'm going to go ahead and get three cards uh, from the next ones to see what he is being honest about today when it comes to the divine feminine. There's something better. Okay, so this I'm picking up already. This is an energy of a divine masculine that has another situation. Um, that he's in, um, you know, his current situation is not going well. And um, he's thinking that there's something better out there than what he's receiving right now. Okay. So he's definitely, this Divine Masculine is thinking about ending a situation that he's in. So this is probably reading as well for people that might be in a third party situation.
he's being honest about there's big happy changes okay approaching so he might be planning something or this could be because there's um he's in this energy that there's something better and um yeah he it might be on his mind that he's thinking about you know this ending so this could be like a situation that's already taken place and so he's kind of preparing himself to come forward to the divine feminine and he's wondering if this is possible um, to heal this connection because of you know whatever turmoil he might have put uh, her through And he's being honest that it's up to you. <laughs> that is really up to the divine feminine whether this is um, going to happen or not. Okay. So um, this is why he's in his head a lot. He's wondering if this is going to take place. Are you going to turn him down? Is the divine feminine going to turn him down? Okay. And just take a look. And he's being honest that he needs to be assertive. So he needs to be aggressive in this situation. He needs to take the first, make the first move because most likely the divine feminine has stepped back from the situation because of how things were ended. All right. So this is the fairy forest oracle. So I'm gonna get some messages from here about what he's being honest about when it comes to the divine feminine. And you have the Unseelie Queen. Glamour, opulence, and Hebrews. I kept this before. I can't remember what this is about. I don't get this very often. So I'm going to need to like check my book really quick here. I feel like it had to do with somebody negative. Like a karmic situation. But um, let me just double check. I'm just going to read a couple of sentences so I can trigger my memory um, all the words can cut so deep and those in power can be cruel they have resources and display their status with pride they seem to lack all compassion and to only care for how they appear and how much they can control others because of their glamour their wealth their pride they seem to hold all the power in the situation therefore at this time your self-esteem may have been substantially damaged there may be harsh words being spoken about or to you and slowly over time the toxic moments have woven together and cast a cloak of bitterness over your once hopeful heart. Okay, so he could be being honest that um, maybe he's had some kind of like, you know, bitterness uh, towards the divine feminine, you know, um, first, you know, maybe blaming it on her. Um, this also could have to do with maybe a toxic energy that's around him that he needs to recognize. Um, but he is um, acknowledging some type of negative energy that needs to um, end because um, if this is close to there's something better than what he is currently dealing with. That's what I'm, I'm feeling mostly what that energy is about is some type of karmic energy. And what else is he being honest about when it comes to Divine Feminine? Number 29, before the gathering. Um, celebration, anticipation, and event. So it feels like to me um, that he is getting excited about something coming to a conclusion. Because there's an antip anticipation about an event. So... Um, with this coffin here, so I do feel like there's some type of an ending um, that he's already, you know, that's already taken place or is taking place or is in his thoughts to um, make it come into fruition with all this energy of being in his head. Okay, so he gets right here. It's right under big happy changes before the gathering. So I feel like he's getting excited about something that he's planning 
for the divine uh, feminine and he's just the reason why he's probably believing in this um, in this energy believing in them in them possible worried whether she's going to um, accept it or not and then you have number 23 Freyer he's being honest about um, abundance peace and contentment that he wants to be happy he wants to be uh, in a peaceful environment and he wants to be um, you know content as well not just content but abundance like be very happy you do have this big happy changes and it's right under it's up to you okay so this situation I feel like he's um, saying that his happiness is also based on the the divine feminine like he is hoping believing in the possible that this can be healed that this ending could happen and it's basically in the divine feminine's hands whether it's going to be a happy and abundant uh, situation for him so on the bottom here you have number 11 so there's a couple 11s in here so um there's uh, the 29, which is um, 11 there as well. Yeah, so you have this here. And then you have Ragged Nook. I don't know how you say this freaking name. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Ragnarok. Ragnarok, whatever. Okay, destruction, ending, final moment. Pretty much what I just was talking about um, at the beginning of this reading. Okay, there is some type of ending because this is a tower energy. Okay, destruction, ending, final moment. You have the coffin there. There is a time for healing. There is something ha happening. There's an anticipation about an ending and a celebration beginning. So, um, yeah, there's some kind of destruction uh, taking place, an ending, and he's thinking about how to heal this connection. Okay, and he knows he's going to have to be aggressive in this situation with the divine feminine because he most likely um, left her out in the cold uh, abandoned her or had no communication okay so this is the um, fairy tarot cards I'm going to get an energy from here as well what is the divine masculine being honest about Today, when it comes to divine feminines, you got the ten of summer. This is the ten of cups. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, uh, people you can trust. Okay, so he's been honest about his happiness that he wants to be around people that he can trust. And he doesn't, I feel like he possibly could be in this energy with this person. Because um, this is right under the, uh, there's something better. Uh, this uh, karmic type of bitter energy. He doesn't want to be in that energy. He wants um, this Ten of Cups. So he's being honest that he wants to be around someone that he can trust. And not be in that, that, that energy. That bitter energy. So I definitely feel like this is a divine masculine that is involved in a third party situation. Uh, most likely a karmic. What else is he being honest about? Prince of Autumn. So this is um, the knight. I'm pretty sure this is the knight. Haven't used these cards in so long. But I'm pretty sure this is the knight. Okay, so um, this would be the knight of pinnacles. Um, dependable, uh, protective, chivalrous, humorous, um, cautious but wise action, um, meticulous attention to detail, uh, kindness to others. So he's being honest. I feel like there's two messages about his slow movement because this is the uh, uh, Knight of Pentacles who moves very slow. Um, and he's, you know, being cautious, um, it says here, but he also delivers something of value and he's dependable. 
and, and this is under the big happy changes and before the gathering so i feel like he's being honest about what he's going to offer or what he can offer or what the divine feminine has to offer and this is facing the um ten of cups so i'm feeling that he wants to um, deliver this happiness uh, to the divine feminine because it's a time for healing that's the energy around this transition yeah there you go you have the king of pinnacles here this is the king of autumn in this deck and you have the uh, knight so the king is sending out the knight to deliver this happiness. This is what he knows that he needs to do. He knows that he needs to offer something of value. So he could be uh, giving the divine feminine a gift, um, a proposal, an offer, something serious. I Because this is a value. So he's being honest about what he needs to bring forth um, or to receive um, as well. Uh, from the divine feminine this um, ultimate happiness so the king of autumn is uh, compassionate accomplished charismatic gifted um, be assertive when it look at be assertive look at that be assertive okay he knows that he needs to be assertive when it comes to the divine feminine be assertive when it comes to what you know is right everything going your way a good person or a company to work for so he knows that the divine feminine is a good person this also could apply to a few of you um, out there this could be someone that you work with because it says a company to work for so this could be someone um, this divine feminine it works with him in the same um, you know line of work or your same environment same career or same office you know just in the vicinity and so this is um, earth energy as well. So this is um, on the 3D realm. So this is on the physical uh, or on earth. Okay, this energy that he knows he needs to bring something of value to the divine feminine. So let me see what's on the bottom here. Six of cups. <laughs> this is the six of summer in this deck, but this is about your past returning. He knows that he wants to return okay he knows he wants to go back and recapture those fond memories uh children or childhood the return of people or romances from your past remembering events differently in a better or worse light than how they really um occurred okay so i'm i'm feeling that this divine feminine knows that he wants to return he knows he um needs to be assertive and there's a, a tower moment happening that within him or taking place uh, with another person or that he knows he needs to um, put the tower in place, like destroy this false energy, this bitterness over here. And he's thinking about th this. This is on his mind all the time, 24 seven. He's thinking about this. OK, and he's anticipating an ending and a celebration as well taking place so this divine masculine is returning he's returned that i sound very country right there when i say he's returning okay <laughs> he's returning um there's a tower uh taking place okay there's destruction which is a good tower because this is good energy here there's a return taking place so i'm going to go ahead and get um this uh, from the Mystic Moon Oracles this is the Twin Flame, and then I'm going to get messages, and that's going to be it for this. What he's being honest about. This is supposed to be quick, and I feel like I've already okay. I'm close to 20 minutes. All right, so I'm okay. All right, what else is he being honest about when it comes to divine feminine today? Lessons. Um, I feel like he's being um, honest about that. He either has learned his lesson or he's, yeah, that's what I'm getting. I don't feel an or. I feel like he's learned his lessons and that he needs to be an open book. He can't be keeping secrets or information away from the divine feminine. Um, that is something that she is not um, accepting. So I feel like this is also 
I said it wasn't, but I do feel like it's also something else because it just came to me um, from spirit is that he learned his lesson when it comes to this karmic as well, that there's something better. He's really, he might have even been reading, he might have been um, educating himself, but he is being honest that he has learned his lesson about what happiness is, what bitterness is, um, all of that energy of needing to end things that do not serve him, that does not work in his best interest. There it is again, conclusion. He needs to end something. He needs to come to a decision. That's what he needs because he holds both the lock and key, I feel, to the information with this under this big happy changes. He needs to um, conclude things. And this is, like I said, there is this transition energy. There's the tower. There's definitely, he, he knows that he needs to end something in order to be with the divine feminine. That's just the bottom line. He knows. What else is he being honest about? The answer is no. So let me see what this is no for. No conclusion. I'm going to have to clarify that one unless this bottom card tells me. Because I don't know what that no means. Divine feminine. <laughs> okay. So let me see what's under here. There's mirroring and there's understanding victim. I think he's being honest about that the divine feminine is in this energy of no, like she's not going to accept anything uh, less than what she deserves. I think that's just the bottom line here because this is close to the king of um, pinnacles. Like, and I feel like this is about stability as well. So I feel that, let me see this up to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to see if I get anything else. I might still clarify this, but I feel that it has to do with the divine feminine. That she is not going to uh, come forth unless he concludes this situation. Like he closes up this chapter. Yeah, it's coming through now. The message that this he is being honest that there is no future with him and the divine feminine unless he concludes and closes up this cycle um, brings in this tower ends this energy that he's in with um, negative environments because you have the overall energy of a time for healing and what he's thinking about and believing in the impossible and this six of cups uh, energy of returning so that's what he's being honest about is that he knows that the answer is no when it comes to the divine feminine if he does not conclude and tie up this uh, energy. So let me see what um, messages he has. And that will be it. I'm going to get three of what he's being honest about. I got spooked. So he's being honest that he got scared from this relationship. Maybe it was just too real for him. Um, something he never experienced. Maybe he has childhood uh, wounds. I've thought a lot about you lately. So he's, again, he's being honest that you're on his mind. He is thinking about you constantly. Like I said, 24-7. One more. Our connection still affects me. That he cannot break this connection. He knows this. He cannot cut it off. And that's just the bottom line. He, he cannot stop thinking about the divine feminine. You feel like home to me. So he's being honest. That he, you feel like the closest thing to 
Uh, he feels warm. He feels welcome. He feels safe. That's what's going on here. Okay. So that is what the divine masculine is being honest about. I hope that resonated with you guys. If it did, please uh, like, comment, or share. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I do offer personal readings. That information is below. And the link to my Instagram account, Intuitive Envisions 1111, is there as well. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you very much. Have a good day or night whatever it is, whatever you are, and until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.